Okay, we are back at Dyson Sphere Program, ready to continue our quest to make deuteron rods. Uh, I've done a few things uh, offline since the last episode. Uh, primarily what I've done is actually move our resources. Our uh, hydrogen is now uh, over here, and it's closer to our fractionator setup. Uh, it makes it just a little bit easier to keep track of uh, for me personally. Uh, and so we're slowly draining out our filled hydrogen tanks over here. Uh, the other thing I've done is switch all of these generators, these uh, thermal power stations, to be running off of refined oil instead of hydrogen. So now we've completely converted all of these power stations that we have here uh, to be running off of this refined oil stack. And you can see we're not going to be running out anytime soon. And by the time we have this deuteron rod production facility set up, uh, it shouldn't be anywhere close to a problem. We also have a full 5,000 hydrogen stored over here as well, uh, with plenty more along the way. I don't know how much. These hold 10,000 each. Woof. Yeah, okay. So we got plenty of hydrogen, uh, which is good because we're going to need a lot of it. Uh, so you notice the setup that we have here. Um, I don't really know why we have this. I guess this is nice to have. But uh, we can split some hydrogen off if we need to. Uh we're running through all four of these setups here, uh, and then we're running out of here into a line splitter, uh, and I've duplicated the original fractionator uh, setup that we built out here. Uh, I've also run a line from each fractionator uh, eight pack, as we can uh, call them here, uh, into this kind of main deuterium line here, and we're getting our deuterium storage almost all the way full here. Uh, so actually, maybe what we want to do at this point is we're going to want to install a splitter pretty shortly. I'm not 100% sure where we're going to want that splitter to be. I'm thinking maybe right down here, uh, but we don't really want it to be in the way of this. So really what I'm debating is whether or not we want to put in uh, a second set or rather a second pair of these. Uh, I don't have a good handle on how much deuterium we're going to need full time. Um, so potentially maybe what I will do, uh, but we kind of want to make sure that that's full first. All right, let's split it off right at the start here. I, I think that makes more sense to me, to be honest with you. Um, so if we put, if we actually put it on this side here, just like right, right on the shore here. Well, actually here, let's just throw this in right now. I know, I know, I know. All of the machines are gonna get mad at me. All right, let's restart this. There we go. Okay, not having too many clogs here. Uh, and then we'll get get some storage just right here. Uh, it is going to make it a, probably a little bit harder for us to um, get our second one set up in here. Uh, but what this does mean is that we won't have to worry about uh, this whole thing shutting down when we do hit our max deuterium, which is going to be very shortly, it looks like. Uh, so I'm hoping, I mean, just eyeballing it, obviously I haven't measured, uh, but it looks like we should be able to hit this kind of same little pattern right over here uh, if we need to produce uh, a second set of these. Okay, so uh, next is actually producing the deuteron, the deuteron rods. This is such a, a challenge for me to say. Um, okay, so I think it makes sense to go a completely different direction to produce these. I'm thinking maybe we go this way. Uh, you know, it's, it's far enough away from the poles that it doesn't look like the curvature of the earth will present any significant issues to me. Uh, just eyeballing it. Uh, so when we look at these, what are the three ingredients that we need? We need deuterium, obviously, uh, and we need 10 of these. So a huge note, like the conversion ratio here is pretty nuts. 10 of these, one titanium alloy, one super magnetic ring. Man, one of these days, I'm going to remember what this is called, but that day is not today. Oh, as a sidebar, uh, today, our beer of choice, also from Oscar Blues, is Goodnight. It's an Imperial Red India Pale Ale, or IPA for short. Uh, you all knew that, sorry. <laughs> uh, but... The nice thing about this one is not only is it a very tasty beer, but it's also an 8.7 ABV. So if you were looking for uh, more of a sipping beer, I think this is definitely one to give it a shot. Mm. That is solid. Okay, so I think what we're going to do here is potentially run all three ingredients out here. And they're on the back line, literally through the back there. Whoa, okay. We have already... Okay, perfect. Actually, this is running exactly as intended. We're now starting to fill this tank up, and that's actually going pretty quickly. So let's just, you know, peace of mind here. You don't have to worry about it. Oh, one other thing we should be doing, uh, technology, right? So where we last left off, we were just finishing up our research speed upgrades. We're up to research speed three. Research speed four needs this uh, white 
universe matrix. Uh, we're not anywhere close to that. So let's keep a few more things up. I think vein utilization, pretty obvious one. Seems solid. Logistics carrier capacity also is really nice. Just a carrier engine, also really nice. Vertical construction. Oh, I'm surprised we haven't done that already. Honestly, we didn't even need purple cubes for that. Uh, sort of cargo stacking. I, maybe there's someone out there watching. Well, I can tell you there's nobody watching right now, so maybe that'll change uh, long term. But vertical carrier stacking. I'm going to turn this sound down a little bit. Let me know. I apologize if I've been uh, blowing out your eardrums there. Um, but this sorter cargo stacking, uh, I personally just don't use it. Maybe someone can tell me uh, how valuable this is. It looks like, can you actually increase the cargo stacking for sorters? I don't really know what this does. Uh, if someone wants to uh, illuminate me, that'd be great. But I don't, I don't believe that I've been using it. I originally thought it had something to do with splitters. But now I have no idea. Maybe there's a way to actually stack cargo on the belts. Not sure. Sorter cargo stacking. Yeah, I I do not know. So please let me know if you know. Um, other important things, this energy circuit seems nice. Doesn't involve any purple cubes. Let's actually split this up a little bit. Uh, I don't know how many purple cubes we have in storage, but I think this is probably something where the more we can um, split that up, the better. So we're going to run these two things that don't require purple cubes. And then, okay, this last one does require green cubes. So, got a lot of stuff queued up. That requires green cubes. Um, vein utilization four. Oh, awesome. Nice. We can just go right into it afterward. And logistics carrier engine. Let's queue that back up. Okay, solid. And then, if we get bored, we can run some of these if we need to. Uh, but those, again, we're not really doing the Dyson sphere until, until the very end. So, we don't have to worry about it too much. And we'll start unlocking the quantum chip. Virtual launching launching silo, vertical launching silo, rather. Uh, doesn't seem to be a huge issue. Uh, we're not using, again, Dyson Spheres anytime soon, so not super stressed about it. All right. So we're going to let that collect really quickly, and then I'm going to just step away for two seconds, and I'll be right back. Oh, okay, and I'm back. And oh wow, this is great. You step away for two seconds. We already have multiple researches completing. That's what I like to see. 
Okay. So let's get started on our Deuteron rod production site here. Uh, we're going to make these. I'm assuming this is assembler, right? Perfect. 17 assemblers. We're still doing good. Although, what are these? Okay, these need some graphing. Maybe, maybe the next time we're over in uh, graphing territory, we will pick up a little bit more so that we can keep working on those. All right. Does it make sense? I, you know, honestly, I'm okay with using these MK3s here. Um, I think the big takeaway is that we want both the uh, electromagnet, whatever it is, and this to be on the outside. And then on the inside, we want our deuterium because uh, we're going to be pulling the most of that by far. So I'm just going to run all these lines out pretty far here. And then, man, you know what else we should really be doing? Honestly, like, it's it, it's driving me insane that we don't have any of these yet. What does this actually take? We just don't have these frame components, and it's because we don't have... Let, let's just let's just go do it. Honestly, it, it's going to suck, but, like, I think it just makes sense to go make some of these. It, it's driving me crazy that we don't have them. Um, oh, we needed some of this. Let's grab a little bit of this while we're here. And then where are we making those cylindrical bad boys? I think these are over here. Carbon nanotubes, right? I think we needed them for something over here. It's not that. There we go. All right, let's grab some of these guys. All right, so we're doing a little bit better there. What else do we need to actually produce these? We're going to need high purity silicon. Do we have any in there? Nope. What about over here? I think it's this one. Perfect. Okay. This is, again, one of the really nice things that starts to happen. I know people are making an argument for having a universal bus. I literally just saw a Beffo video come up. Uh, where he's arguing for one. Now, full disclosure, I haven't watched it yet, uh, so uh, I'm sure he makes some salient points there that I should be mindful of. But I guess I personally have just never felt the need for one. Uh, I'm sure it's going a little bit slower for me than it could be uh, where I'd have one. But realistically, you know, I feel like if you have enough interplanetary stations, you're mostly moving things around via your interplanetary stations. And it's pretty easy to go, go through those and grab things. So I, I just personally haven't really felt this thing there. Uh, maybe I'm totally wrong and I would have my, uh, my life made a lot easier if I were using one and I'm happy to eat crow on that, uh, if that's the case. But uh, frankly, to me, I just haven't really, really hit that pain point, uh, to be needing to do that yet. Okay. So we got what, four or five of those cooking away. Perfect. Oh, energy circuit level four. Love it. I'm going to land to, uh, let our energy circuits recover. In fact, let's drop that there. Okay. What are the other things we wanted to make? Uh, uh, I'm totally blanking. What was it that we needed to make using uh, this graphene? Let me look at this. It's not going to show me. Or no, it was carbon nanotubes, rather. No, no, it was graphene that we needed. I'm just I'm just going to blank on it. Oh, yes, it was these guys. All right, let's make more of these. Okay, solid. All right, so do we have the first one pop out? Nope. Uh, we're going to make all of our frame components. Okay, one second. Okay, so let's start laying down. We can start laying down our assemblers, or our assembling machines, rather, uh, and then we'll figure out the best place to put some of our power components once we have these guys laid down. Honestly, the the comparison sphere of power is not even close. Uh, it's really nice. Let me actually see. I bet there's a way to show this. Um, okay, so you can kind of see a standard standard sphere there. Look at look at the difference. It, it's it's unreal, right? I don't know too much about geometry, but that looks to be like easily triple maybe the diameter. If you look at this, here, let's let's compare them. Yeah, okay, so it's probably not triple, but it's definitely over double. Ooh, we can walk, ooh, look at this. Oh, oh my gosh, we're an Olympic sprinter here in comparison to what we could do. Look at him, look at him, he's jamming. Oh my gosh, I don't know. So I don't know how many of you have uh, restarted this game multiple times uh, like I have. But I'm going to be honest with you, uh, the speed, I think, is the, is the upgrade. Oh, I can't, what am I doing? Uh, the speed is the upgrade you notice the most uh, when you don't have it, right? So when I restarted this game, I probably had, eesh, I don't know, maybe 30 hours in my previous save. Uh, and it hurts to go back, honestly, to, uh, to the level one speed. 
uh, you notice it a lot. Uh, you look like you're walking through molasses, which is no joke. Uh, I don't know if any of you are familiar with the Great Molasses Flood. I think that was Canadian, potentially. I'm not sure what city it was in. People legitimately died, so molasses uh, is dangerous. Be careful. Uh, but it looks like you were essentially running uh, in slow motion. He, he's doing maybe maybe a walk, a walk at best. So uh, this uh, s relative sprinting is, is huge. Uh, it's very, very welcome. All right, just throwing this on there, and let's uh, copy a few more of these out. I don't know why. Okay, you know what it is? It's we're hitting the um, we are hitting that that north south boundary issue. All right, I don't know why we don't have enough of these either. We need those little dinky here. You know what? Let's just freaking import them right here. We're just gonna import 200 of them right now, and we're getting 500 apparently. So that's cool. All right, well, we can at least go through and set up. I think we want, no, we're not really gonna need those. Let's just like wait two seconds, honestly. We'll wait for these guys. We can actually go, let's go through the back and we'll add all of them up to the back. So we got our output going through here. While we wait for those to come in. I think we did just invest in our, oh, no, no, no. We, uh, we have our increased uh, logistics vessel capacity, which is probably why we were getting that. Why are do we have MK? That doesn't make any sense. What am I doing? What am I doing? All right. We want to use MK2s uh, for these conveyor belts, I believe. Uh, okay. Why is it getting upset at me for that? Really? All right. Well, yeah, I'm not going to deal with that tomfoolery. There we go. Okay. So now we got that everywhere. Perfect. Let's take all these out and then we'll clear that. Okay. So we built all really fast. So now we're out onto the end. For some reason, where it's just there. Whatever. Um, I am. We should use for uh, components where we use. We think we have three into one show. And I did with the MK3s. Um, we may find out that we even. Uh, actually, no, I think we did use MK3 belts. In this uh, instant, here is possible. Uh, we just didn't. However, actually, it's about first. We go. We can actually even kill. Really? That's what I'm about to do. It's in here. And then we'll have our first It's going to give us a hard time. I, I have noticed a little bit of inconsistency here. It's just going to give us a hard time all the way around. Okay. Put that in. Let's set up our sorters. There we go. And then I think if we get real crafty, boom. Okay. And then we'll set up our output. Yeah, I've noticed a little bit of inconsistency uh, based on the, the patterning, right, uh, of how you lay those down. Uh, sometimes you'll get into trouble there. Uh, sometimes you'll see. Yeah, going, we are lap. But the good news is MK3s are still delivering enough in the belt. So belt issue yet. We are going to be, I mean, obviously we'll take more than we're putting in. Uh, good news is, so that's going well. Uh, we still have these, these dope batteries here, these accumulators. One of these, not today. Um, all right, so we may want to set up another deuterium uh, production facility eventually. But honestly, what I'm doing right now, uh, one is get rid of all this refined oil. We don't need it. Let's get rid of this hydrogen. We don't need that. And let's put this deuterium just directly into the belts. Okay, we want to do start. We want to start. All right, so this deuterium and our uh, strange, or our particle containers, rather. That is very easy to accomplish. I'm literally just going to sit here and pick up some deuterium for, I don't know, 10 seconds. While I uh, sip my drink. No, the stream is not sponsored by Oscar Blues. But uh, Oscar Blues, if you're looking stream, please let me know. I can offer you uh, a very engaged on Twitch. So you never know. Alternative floor. This is GameStop level gains that you're looking at here. So I just want to point that out. Uh, be this could be a breakaway for you. Oh, we don't have an iron ingots. So get that. Turn that off. We don't need to look at our power anymore. I don't even know why we have iron ingots over here, but you know, we got stacks on stacks. So let's grab a few of these. I cannot make this apparent particle collider. Cool, 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 cool. Where even is our particle collider? Woof, okay. Um, I, don't, I didn't even look at how many, I think it's like, let's see if this works. Ding me. All right. Nope. Just gonna, oh, there we go. So I, you don't need to know this, but I use a trackball mouse, and it really 
I love it 99% of the time, but every now and then it makes it a real pain in the ass to grab things. Oh, and that was minute movements, right? That can be tricky. All right, uh, we're definitely gonna have to automate that frame material at some point. Um, well, that was, uh, two of the three things material goes. Think we'll get there eventually, right? Not there yet. So if you're right now, 13. I mean, that's not we have plenty of junk in the inventory right now. Let's we'll power through that at some point. Oh, we just kind of put, I, I didn't even notice that we did that, but that's solid. It's good to know. Yeah. How are we doing? 30 seconds. Right, well, here, I can, all we're going to do is essentially assembly here. Cause again, we just want enough that we can build out some super, super basic, uh, production here i'm not into assembling an automated capacity here uh, we just want to be able to build enough of these gravitational lenses that we can look at making our uh, jump to hyperspace uh is potentially wait to start going abroad i'm chips matrix going i'm gonna queue this up next actually why is it not gonna let me do that ah uh, because i have to have the quantum chip queued up first let's queue that queue this and then we'll go back to our upgrades queue up our logistics carrier engine so the reason i want to do that is because if you look at just go back to technologies yeah so look at this you go here to build out space warpers if you look at the same comparison here this is one to one on gravitational lenses so the uh, few two huge huge efficiency gain uh so i definitely think it's worth hoarding our gravitational lenses for a little bit until we can make these green cubes uh and then go that way because you know you don't have to act <laughs> The output is on the side. You know, this is it's it's very petty, uh, but it, it is annoying, um, and that is that made a lot of the uh, a lot of really potentially pathetic that make noxiously inefficient. Uh, oh, whoops! Huh. And then it doesn't put any power down. There we go. So, oh man, you can tell it's a Wednesday, right? Sadly.